Alrighty then. Hello everyone and welcome. This is not Mount Shame. This is not my <laughs> shameless dive, but it, what it is is Retired Men's Newton's Beach Volleyball League. <sighs> that is such a long name, and I've had to say it multiple times due to several missed starts with the recording. However, we are here. There is nothing in the options menu of any merit, and it was given to me as a gift. I'm just gonna jump straight in, damn it, and get straight to it, because, ah, ah, hey there. Glad you joined the league. Look, everyone's here for different reasons, but at the end of the day, we're all here for one reason. To play volleyball. Damn straight. You might have played in other places, but here are our rules. I would love to know. This is one-on-one -on -one volleyball action. Only two people play a match at a time. There are no spikes or dives in the league. I know we're all in pretty good shape here, but we've had too many broken hips to risk it anymore. Look, members of our group are welcome to watch. To score a point, you must be serving. First to boy, person to 25 points wins. Oh God, please do not be like Minsinki beat volleyball from the Airpets. Got it. If you hit the out of bounds or do a bad serve, your opponent gets the ball. I decide who serves first. Oh, and here's a rule that you might not know because I made it up. You can hit the ball under the net. If it goes over or under the net, as long as it's not out of bounds, it's fine with me. I mean, I don't really care, apparently. Look, I'm not perfect, but none of us are. Sometimes I miss things, like my wife. So that's okay though, don't get mad. Like my wife. I understand. Now I'd like to go over you the rules of the league. First off, I know some people might think what we do is weird. Like my wife. But we have something special going on here. Like I had with my wife. Okay, I'm gonna stop that joke. Only talk about our group with other people in the league. If we, if we find out you're blabbing, then you're out of the group and you'll never hear from us again. Okay, I'm sure. So it's like that club that involves fighting that no one would ever talk about. Make sure to bring proper sunscreen and water to stay hydrated. Do, uh, drink the water and not the sunscreen. I mean, yeah, I'm a hydro homie, I know that. It gets hot out there and you don't want to get burned. Only nice and sweaty. Good. Don't miss your matches. If you commit to a match and be there. Members of our group sometimes dive drive pretty far to make their matches. If you skip and don't have a good excuse, then you're out of the group. Ooh. I mean, is that going to be really a problem? I'm assuming I'm just going to play the game, or is there more to it? I don't know. This could be an interesting game. You must respect everyone's space and boundaries. Remember, the ball shouldn't touch. Got it. Nude Beach Volleyball is a sport where we show our true vulnerabilities and bring it all on the field physically and emotionally. Okay. If someone doesn't like something you were doing or talking about, then back off and give them space. Which are all fantastically normal rules. But, like, this is a very long rule segment. <laughs> Whatever happens in the match stays in the match. Sometimes we share secrets and stories on the field. This is our place to reflect and learn. If someone shares something personal and we hear you told anyone, you're immediately out of the group. Oh god, I hope they don't work out about the YouTube video and that could be quite awkward. Oh well. Um, but now let's hope. Look, just, you don't tell them and I won't. What do you think? Uh, are you in? I mean, if I say no, we'll just like quit the game? Uh, will it like ask me again Pokemon style? Or will I have to go? I'm not going to find out because I don't want to go through all those rules again. Good. Bring some food to share with the group. Maybe potato salad or macaroni salad. Something like that. As long as it's salad, we'll be good. Honestly, beef. Uh, beef bacon salad, just wrap, wrap that all up together, be fantastic. As long as it's a nice, healthy salad. That's all for now. See you in the field. Okay. Do I get to drive? I do get to drive. Ugh. This sure is a weird way to die. I can see the headlines now. Naked 80 year old found dead in the woods with a volleyball in his hand. Ugh, why am I doing this? Let's go through this whole process of how I got here. I was at the supermarket buying some cereal after I checked out and I looked at the bulletin board past the register. It said, retired? Looking for something more in life? I thought it'd be an ad for a pyramid scheme, timeshare or something along those lines. 
I was bored, so I grabbed it. I actually wasn't bored. I wanted to know the real reason why I grabbed it? Yeah. I have always enjoyed a hard sell. I enjoy the feeling of someone trying to really hard to convince me to do something, knowing the whole time I'm going to say no. Like at the mall. Like that time in Vegas. Uh, kind of want to know about the story in Vegas, but I'm also sort of watching the road because I feel like this is the sort of game where it might just throw a car out, out, out at me and I might have to swerve um, to get out of the way. So I'm not, I'm not taking this for granted. Let's find out what happened in Vegas though. Look, they offered $200 in cash to sit through a timeshare talk. Oh, no, uh, that all. Okay. About two to three hours. Nice breakfast. I think I had a bagel and some fruit. Some guy gave a presentation about how I could smell, sell a timeshare to my friends for a profit if I bought one. Also, if, if there's not going to be any cars, I'm going to be driving on the left side of the road, which as we all know, is the right side of the road. After the main presentation, we reached a sign to an individual salesperson to go over the details. I knew this was, <laughs> would get the hard sell. Whenever you sit down with a stranger and they draw what looks like a large T on a piece of paper, you know the hard pitch is coming. Oh, I love it when I see that T. He asked personal questions about how much I make, what my friends do for work, and then came the number. 2700 a year. That's how much I would have to pay to buy into this timeshare. Did I say yes? No. Exactly, I did not. My plan was to never say yes. I was one of the alpha who was willing to go. The next number he wrote down I think it was 2500. What did I say? No. He looked at me disappointed. Imagine all the wonderful times you could have at any of these beautiful locations, he said. But again, I said no. This went on for too long. By the end, the negotiation, $2,700 per year, had turned into $200. That might not have been a bad deal, but my heart was on the $200 I would be given in cash for sitting through the meeting. I politely said no, and though I'd not be taking this offer. He was upset that I wasted his time. I actually felt pretty bad about it too. He left and someone else came in and bought me $200 in casino chips that I could change into cash. Which I did. I've always had a strange relationship with experiences like this. It's a strange and comfortable feeling that sort of feels good. I thought this flyer in the grocery store is something like that. Some scam or someone trying to sell me something. Or maybe it's real and it was worth checking out. I really have no idea. When I called, the guy on the phone said it was a nude volleyball league. <laughs> it was the last thing I ever expected to hear. I have no idea what to think. I've barely been nude in front of anyone. Definitely not a stranger who I'm going to play volleyball with. I've been wanting to get more active lately, though I've always enjoyed the sport of volleyball, so I figured it was worth a shot. I feel like this is something I should be very scared of, but for some reason I'm not. Well, I guess I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, I wonder if there'll be an audience watching. Uh, maybe I'll be... I'm walking into one of those TV shows where they do pranks. Maybe I should have researched this group more. Looks like the exit for Pitchfield. Yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. Entering Pittsfield. Hey guys! Welcome to Pittsfield. Now, from what I hear, this is the first time you review have played this kind of volleyball. Len, pick heads or tails? Tails, tails, never fails. Tails, Len serves first. Heads, Mark serves first. Flips, coin. Heads it is, Mark serves. Let's play some volleyball. Alright, let's see, this is finally the game. Oh dear. Saucy. Okay, let's go. So it's fully free and three dimensional. Oh, hi, I'm a little nervous. I haven't played volleyball in a while, and uh, I mean, do I really have to get naked for this? Is it going to hurt if the ball hits me in my sensitive areas? Oh, here goes, I can see my opponent. He's waving at me. <laughs> Ignore him. No, this is this is a this is a hard league. I'm not gonna wave. I'm not gonna show any weakness. I'm gonna win this because I can. Now, I don't actually know how to play. Okay. I, I, okay. Oh, ah, well that that worked poorly. Point mark. Oh no. This, 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 this is bad. Um. Oh shit. I am I'm already not good at this game. There you go, Mark. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is exactly like volleyball game. Ow. 
Okay, now that was just, just me. Cool. Yep, thank you, Mark. That I, I really, really don't. I, I really hope the game still lets me play if I suck like that. Oh dear. Point, Mark. I, I was reading a few reviews where they said it was hard and, people, and they suck at it. I'm starting to see that maybe. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Fuck you, Mark! Uh, maybe by me scoring, this will make you more comfortable. Uh, wait, what? Ow! <laughs> That's an interesting way to think about it, but maybe you're right. Huh, I'm feeling a more comfortable. Maybe it's luck. Wait, what? I'm doing terribly. Now, nah, don't talk about luck. You're doing great, and you should own it. That's important. Wait, but I'm not... Wait, what? I'm not... Wait, what? <laughs> it's acting as if I won! Thank you, game. Oh, but it is luck. Did you see these shots? I couldn't have done these shots on purpose in a million years. Okay, if you say so. Um. Uh, there we go. Wait. Uh, uh. Oh, I think. Okay. Woo! Okay. Change serve. There we go, chance. Last night I woke up thinking. Oh! Ah, the sign! Well, damn. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Um. Ah! Len finds the distance. But here I am! Wait, what? How am I earning scores? I'm. Oh, because he's going into the. Oh! Because he's going too far! I see! I see how I'm getting the points, though. There we go! But I can't get the point because I didn't get that. Okay, fair. I think I'm going to... Oops, I should have done that. Ah, damn it. Bad serve. Yeah, it was a bad serve. I'm sorry. Gotta, gotta pay more attention when he's reading, right? This is really a story-based game. Damn it! Point mark. Ugh. Can you just... Yes, please do go a little bit further, Field. Um, damn it. One point. Man is natural, um, but I'm not. But apparently, it didn't seem to stop you from thinking I won before. <laughs> bad serve. Oh, that was a bad serve. Oh, good. Does that mean I get to go do it? Yeah, she can see me. I bet she'd be surprised. I mean, I'm surprised. Oh, god damn it. Think that. Oh dear. Please be a bad serve. Please be a bad serve. It's not a bad serve. Ah. Uh, uh, Len just didn't get there. Again, I assume this is just for fun, not competition. I know before I was literally saying the opposite, like, ah. One point. <laughs> is it? Hey, you're getting better with every game, Len. Nice work. No, I'm not. I'm really not. I guess it isn't luck after all. Thanks, Mark. By the way, have we met before? You look familiar. Oh, have we? Winks. Oh. Okay, then. Um, I'm not winning, but the game is acting like I am, and I'm sort of okay with that because I keep losing. <laughs> oh, not what Mark. This point is, this is going. Oh. At a point. Oh dear. Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. Please be a bad serve. Ah. Okay. Ah. I think that was it. I think I. I think no, it wasn't. I didn't serve! I'm pretty surprised that I'm here. Okay, that one is up! Oh, damn it! Okay. Uh, this is just as bad as Mr. Kid at this beach volleyball. Oh wait, that was bad. Okay, yes. Let okay. you do it, because then, then I get a point. Before I get to serve again. I have been this run, so... Okay, that was good! I got a point! Wait, what? It got me! I got a point from it though! That doesn't. Okay. No good. <laughs> okay, sure. I'll be fine, I'm sure. Ah! Pick him up. Okay. I feel like there's literally no way I can win this game. Pick him up. Oh dear. Okay, just focus on the game and I'll be fine. I doubt that somehow. 
<laughs> now that was wait what? Four. Mark four, so lens four. Okay, so that what that one was okay. Get over it. Yes, yes. I just wanna Yes, okay, good. Four. Come on. Land finds this. To be fair, this is exactly how it would be beat be, be, beats Holy War 2. Let's get lucky. Okay. Wait, what? Um Okay, cool, there. I probably shouldn't hit that actually. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I did that to myself. Okay. Now the question is, will there be any upgrades or things that can happen? I think I'm gonna let that go over. Yeah. That won't be a point. Yeah, exactly. I should get my car inspected. I kind of just want this game to be over to see what happens. Like, I don't think. Oh, uh, excuse me. There was someone. There's someone watching me, I can tell. There's someone watching me, I can tell. Oh. One point for life. Um. There's nothing good over here. You're going to be very upset if you look over here. Yeah, exactly. Oh dear. Yep, go. Aha! Who's that? This is the fight for the century. I feel bad, I forgot something that I didn't I feel like I stopped clicking on, but I also want to kind of end, end it. Oh dear. At least I can't lose when he does when I when I serve like that. Yeah, so now he's serving again. Yeah. You're getting good at this, Mark! It's true, you, you are. Much better than I'll ever be. And I think that's the end. I lost the mark. Oh, even though I just scored, you're an excellent opponent. I mean, I was kind of a dick to you before, but okay. Oh, thanks. You're doing well too, Mark. Thanks, Len. For me, it's not about winning or losing. It's just about having fun. Oh, but it's a game. Someone has to win, someone has to lose. Look, I know what to tell you. It feels like the, none of our conversation has been sticking in. Let's just finish this out. What do you mean finish this out? Oh, it's 25. Ah, oh, goddammit, it's 25. I should've just been a nicer old man. I'm just being a coot. Such a gentle touch. Oh, oh dear. Okay, 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 there we go. Oh, well, damn it. Okay, I've just gotta, I've gotta try to be more positive this old man. I feel like I'm being a Grinch. Which I totally am, but like, it's not getting me anything. I, I, I've got a few pity points, I think. Point. I mean, I love how the, um, the, the... I love how this guy is so much less... Oh, um... <laughs> I love how this guy... Next time, I'll bring something nice. I love how the, how, how the, the goalie guy, the, the referee guy, is totally not being a good sport in comparison. He's just like, ha, ah, wow, game's really flying by. Okay, that's true. I've got to start being nice to these people. Even if I lose, it's all good. Alright, alright, alright. Ow. Had a point. Ah, this man's a natural. Okay, it's getting close to the end. This has been fun. Ah, it's been great. It's been a great game. Ah, oh, can't believe our final match is here. May the best man win. Okay. <laughs> I mean, on the plus side, either this game is going to be amazing and subversive and crazy because of its trailer, or it's just going to be crap. Either way, this video will help you decide which is which. One point. Mark scores. Oh, look, Mark, just get the last two points. It's fine, you win this. There's, no, there's nothing I can do at this point. Ah. Uh, point, Mark. Yes, yes, it is. Please, just. There's so little traffic in this universe, I can't, just, I can't even die in a road accident. Oh, wow, good game, Len. You really changed my way of thinking. Thanks for a good conversation. Oh, anytime. I'd love if we could get together sometime and reconnect. I'd love that. Ah, oh, perfect. I'll email you. Take care, Len. 
Easy mark point. Mark is the winner. Yep, yep, okay. So. What happens now? Okay, week two. Okay. I'm driving again. Apparently through the city right now. Ugh, I'll have to Worcester for another match. Ugh. Not many beaches in Worcester. This is a beach volleyball league, right? Here's a list of things I know in Worcester. Vincent's. We'd see Frank Morley perform there. It was pure magic! Rack a tie. Ah, what an incredible tie buffet. Maybe I'll go there after the match. <laughs> ah, take him to the Green Day concert in Worcester when he was in high school. Now, now that I think of it, I brought him to a lot of shows in that city. And he really enjoyed the heavy metal. Eh, not really my style, but I don't mind it. I loved having him enjoy something so much. That night, picking him up from the all day heavy metal concert. Ah, oh, he was covered in fake blood. Uh, what was that band? Gua. Well, I like Gua. So, wait, what? Why does choosing Gua make me go stupidly fast? I'm gonna do it then, speed myself up. Uh, I think it was one of those bands. I think it was Gua. It looked like a tie dye shirt. Oh, I remember saying to him, What did you do to a Grateful De Dead concert instead of a heavy mail show? That drive home was nice. <laughs> well, that first match was interesting. I didn't die. I've still got some of my old volleyball skills. That ref is a character. After the match, he sent me stories about his indoor cactus garden. I wonder what his deal is. Well, another week, another match. Why keep getting better? What should I focus on this week? Not... S okay, I... I not stepping on sharp things is, is the most hilarious answer. Smashing the ball makes me go faster. So I'm just going to keep going faster and see what happens. <laughs> I love that really feeling, really feeling... I love that feeling of really hitting that thing as hard as I can and seeing it go exactly where I want it to. This match I'm going to include on that. Back in college, we would talk about the concept of volleyball hands. I don't even remember that. Oh shit, this is the place. Interesting Worcester. Uh, hey guys! Yeah? I got two words for you. What? Macaroni salad. Okay. You know what that means? Uh, this next match, I really want you both two to bring it. Oh, I'm feeling great. I'm gonna give it all I've got. No, I mean bring it. Bring the macaroni salad to the next match. You know everyone's supposed to bring food to every match. Everyone keeps bringing potato salad. Regular salad, fruit salad, and all the usual stuff. I'm getting tired of it. If you don't bring macaroni salad to the next match, I'm going to write you night down that you both lose. Got it? Um, wait. Is that, why is this option blue? Okay. Thanks, I appreciate it. Alright, that's enough about that. Uh, sorry, sounds good, cranky. Get your volleyball hands on, because then I'm getting ready to play. Uh... Is it- I'm playing the same person, am I? Is it just me? Also, this is not a beach! This is a lie! Ugh, I'm nervous. This next opponent's gonna be my toughest yet. He does he looks bigger than me. He's stronger than me, and he doesn't look like he has a weakness. From the looks of it, he's been all his other opponents in submission. Even the ref is scared of Deep breaths. All I can do is get my best shot. Let's do this now. Well, well, well. Look who it is! That's right, you fat bastard, I'm going to destroy you. No. I'm sorry, have we met before? Ah, uh, hell yes, we've met before. I would say I didn't leave an impression. Ah, uh, but I know that's impossible. You must have blocked it out. Uh, yeah, I guess my memory is as good as it used to be. Ah, uh, sounds like someone hasn't been keeping up with their mental exercises. Get ready for the heat. How do you know I used to do mental exercises? There's all I know about you, Len. Now get ready for this heat! <laughs> Um, no good save. Every decade feels like oops. <laughs> Is this guy just gonna be One terrible? Point. Cause that'd be hilarious. I've had a lot of decades so far now. I wonder what one's my favorite. Probably the 50s, where I could be a horrible, horrible person to so women and minorities. Sorry, I'm making this guy out to be worse than he probably is. They're all good for different reasons. 
Although, oh god, maybe we'll find out he's a terrible person. I kind of made him into a terrible person last match. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? This guy's terrible. I'm not sure which one's my favorite, though. Okay, good. No good. Finally, I did something terrible. Okay, I'm sure he's gonna still crush me, but, um... He definitely doesn't seem as good as the other guy was. I should just focus on the match. He should, probably. Oh, no, that's a... Yep. Almost, Steve! Ah, uh, you look like you have something you want to say, I can tell. I don't have anything to say. You do? I don't. You do? You're wondering why I'm such a jerk. I I'm really not, I promise. See, speechless. Just like a sheep. Bah! Bah! Thanks for the point, sheep! Um... Okay. Aww! Yeah. Well, actually, I don't think it's a point for him because he wasn't serving. He consistently serves pretty poorly, but... Okay. Okay, this is it. He's finally going to turn around the game and I'm going to suck. Yeah, okay, there we go. He does always seem to go for the big pull, so... Oh, damn it. Or not. One point. Ah, oh, well, never mind. It was good what lasted. Ah! Oh. Oh. No! Oh. I guess he really got in my head with that last one. Ah, oh, damn it. At a point. Oh. I was going so adequately. I'm not gonna say well, because I definitely wasn't going well. Double third. Okay, good. Steve's out. Serve out. Okay, so. He's not thinking about anything now. Did he just completely break him? Okay. Well. Uh, my co worker John sang in the barbershop choir in the city. Um, okay. Point. Point to Len! Ah, that was a lot of fun. We went to see him perform together. Um, this game is so random. Oh dear, okay. <laughs> Good job! Oh, that song they did about the bluebird was really nice. Okay, who can be bad if they, if they like birds? No one, that's the answer. Okay. Bad serve, Len. There we go, and... Damn it! Let's try! Nope! Oh! Mm -hmm. Nope! Ah! Ah! Oh, okay, that's fine. Look at that. Okay. Ah, I bought the cassette tape after the show. I can score when I serve. Point. If I can't score, then I shouldn't do it. Okay. So basically, if I can still score, I should keep trying to hit the ball up in the air. If I can't score, I should just let them him do it. So, like right now I can score, so I gotta keep trying. But if I can't score, ooh. I damn it! So that must have been just on my side. Or not? I know. Oh no, it wasn't! Okay, he he served that last round. Okay, fair. Alright. I don't know if there's any difference in the grass. Like I feel like the sand was a lot more slidey. I feel like I wasn't doing as well, but I don't know if it's because I've done it round now, or if it's this guy's sucky, or what. Or if the game just wants me to win now. I don't know. Okay, it, if it does want me to win, it's going to be very disappointed. <laughs> oh dear. 
Yeah. One two. Come on, lose a point. Lose a point, bud. You know you want to lose a point. Do a really bad serve. Ah, you did a good serve. One two. Nice shot, Steve. I feel like he's running out of things to say already. Is a little bit of a bad sign. I, I like to think it's because he got um like taken by this guy. Oh! Oh no! 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 Uh, what do you think of that? Ah, oh, thanks. I'm sure you're taking it easy on me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm taking it easy on you. You seem to accept it. You okay? I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sexy. I'm still in good shape. I'm still relatively young. Relative to what? A galactic asylum tortoise? And I'm still gonna kick your ass at volleyball! Get ready for this heat! Jeez, okay. Settle down, Steve. I don't feel like it's the biggest, um... Thing in the world to beat me at ball volleyball, clearly. Okay. Keep watching the way it goes and fuck. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. This video has been about half an hour. I think I want to see what the next middle of the day brings. I hope it brings more than just driving. I feel like this game could have something more hidden to it, but I just don't know what it is. One point. I think you gotta wait for more than a couple of days before you give up, basically. So if I lose again, it doesn't seem to matter if I lose or win. So that's a good thing at least. Ah, feel free to give up now. Giving up now is much less embarrassing than losing. <laughs> I disagree. The coward dies a thousand deaths, the hero only one. That's only true if the cow cares about running away. If you have no shame, you can't feel ashamed. Checkmate. That explains so much. Is it really obvious? I thought you hit it so well. That can keep you all bottled up inside. Guess not. I guess all this open book this whole time. Blink, stupid open book. You mean like the Bible? Hey, chin up, bu buddy. This is volleyball. There's no negative self talk in the volleyball. Yeah, let's go around from being the asshole being the nice guy. Uh, it may seem like I'm being negative, but I'm not. The fact is, every person contains multitudes isn't negative, it just is. To you, my aggressive behaviour probably just makes you think, wow, this guy's a jerk, and nothing else beyond that. But to me, my aggressive behaviour serves another function. Whether I'm aware of it or not, and that function is to make me feel better. To make me feel special. <laughs> if being a jerk makes you feel special, maybe you should reconsider your life choices. I'm sorry you feel that way, or shut up moron, this sheep is ready for another round. So try and be a nice guy this time round. Exit. What? No! It did give me a chance to exit though. Maybe I should have taken it. But I was afraid it was going to exit the whole game. And I don't want to exit the whole game. I just said I want to get to the next league. Head on the ma- Head on the game. Head on the game. Damn it. Oh, at least neither has got a point that round. Damn it! Point. Come on! Yeah. Point. Uh, mm. I am just as bad at this volleyball game as any other. Point. I, I hope you agree with me on the trailer, because like... That's... <laughs> otherwise I'm probably looking quite silly at the moment. Just in general. Mm -hmm. Why is he being nicer to Steve than he was to me? Steve's an asshole. At a point. Ah, look, I know I just completely scored on you, but I have to say, you've got skill. Thanks, I've been practicing. Ah, oh, Joe's, you're putting in the work. Even if you're talented, you have to put in the work. Most people don't get that, but then again, most people don't get most things. A life unexamined is no kind of life at all. Ah, oh, we knew each other. I knew what I was doing. I knew my actions, day in, day out, were wrong, but I did them anyway. Okay, so clearly I know all these old men. 
Like, this is the second time it said that. But the question is, how do I know them? And why, how did I forget? No, I know it was a bully, so I made it worse. It made me angry. It made me more of a bully. So why'd you do it? I did because I felt like control. My life outside of work was miserable. Unstable. I had to move back home, back with my parents. And my dad was terrible to my mum. But instead of protecting her and standing up for him, I just took out everyone at work, bullying, bullying them. I know, we all know it. I'm not asking forgiveness. Anyway, I didn't deserve it. I guess I'm just trying to make sense of it all. So that I can make sure it doesn't happen again. Was there an apology there? I haven't been too sorry. Uh, why don't we make sure it doesn't happen again? Just make sure you apologize because you're hurt. Oh, uh, you're right. I need to make myself accountable. I need to know what I think. Unfortunately, at the moment we're playing volleyball, so we don't really have that much time to think. What's okay. up? I probably should just try and lose at this point, but I'm too proud. Oh, I say I'm proud, but then I instantly fail, so, you know. Yep. Ah. Good job, good job, Steve, I guess. Ugh. You know what? Steve, you can take this round. I just want to see what happens at the end of this day. It's like, what happens? It's, really, they don't throw me out of the league for sucking. If they did that, I'd be screwed. Oh. Well. Sure. Oh. Oh no. What have I done? Ah. Poor things. Bad Look things. Enough. Bad things to what I did. Thanks, Steve! Double shot. Yep, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Wait, what? 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 Wait. Did that just do what I thought it did? If I hit my... Oh! Wait, what? If I hit myself out of... If I can get a way to do that reliably, I can win every game! Yes! Yes! Ah! Ah! Success! I win at volleyball! Ah! Oh, okay. Let's go. Keep hitting them the wrong way. Ah! Uh, come on! Come on! Up! Okay. So I've got a chance at self-scoring and getting him to lose points by bad serves. This is excellent. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, oh, damn, I was just okay. in there. Oh, wait, no, I did. I think it went up. Woo! Okay. <laughs> yep, yep. Is that a bad serve? Bad serve. No good, Steve. It, it, it looks like a bad serve. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is okay. Okay, the problem is I left him with so much. I left him with so much room that he could just so easily. Ah, oh, no, that would be on me. Okay. Yeah, damn it. Okay, okay, but next game I've got a chance. That's what I'm seeing from this. Next game I have a chance. Ah, oh. ah, oh, so I win this one. I'd say you played a good match though. Good job, Len. Good job. I agree. Feels like I won twice again. <laughs> Me and losing. That's all life is. Couldn't agree more. But there to be a winner, someone else has to lose. That's lesson I learned growing up, that's for sure. I learned other lessons growing up. Like how to be good at volleyball. No, I disagree. This is a game, so if someone has to win it now, I'd rather be... Wait, what? Me too, I'd rather be the winner like today. It's the game that's still acting like I won. <laughs> Cocky, arrogant, you remind me of me. You're a narcissist, everything reminds you of you. That's right, it doesn't matter who you were when we start this game. You're leaving the game more like me. So, really, what the score, man? I won in the end. Leave all you want. It's sad that you can't take the loss and move on. I guess you're a loser after all in every sense of the word. <laughs> Steve Middleton wins again. See you around, Steve. Ba ba. What happened to the character development? Um. Okay.
Okay. So, nothing's happening at this point, but... <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, uh, nude men's beach volleyball. Totally nude men's beach volleyball. Not exactly what I expected. I did find a way to cheese it at the end, but it didn't seem to matter because it turns out I won regardless, apparently, because... Okay. Um, I don't know if this game has a hidden secret. Its storyline is odd, everything's odd about it, but it was kind of interesting. I would likely play some more at some point, I'm just not sure when. At the moment I can't really record anymore, because doing a bunch of different old man voices is making my voice slightly sore. I have also done a lot of videos today, so it's probably that as well. But still, if you like what you saw here, if you liked all that you saw here, Make sure you pick up the game. I will make a link. I'll put a link link to it in the description down below. But otherwise, thank you. Uh, this hasn't really been anything in particular. No real title to the series yet. But uh, thank you for joining me, and I hope you'll see me next time. Goodbye. Okay. Okay. Um, resign the recording. When I quit, this happened. Okay. There is more to this game. Holy shit. Um, there's a, there's a desktop. There is a desktop. Can I open these things? Can I open the groceries? Yes, I can. Cereal, lemons, rice, oak. Okay, cool. Theme song. Oh, is this the song? <gasps> I mean, I need to edit in the thing instead of being. You gotta play with your heart. Yeah, it is! This is the song! Remember when I said there was a song? And then like, nothing happened because I didn't pop right in because this part. Listen! <laughs> oh, what else is here? Can I open up multiple things at once? Yes, I can. Smear, babe. Okay. Okay. Um, fair. Okay, let's let's try and start mobiling this. Okay, so. Okay. Okay. Start it up here and put the things I need. Ah, hello, ladies. I'm learning about the important dates in history. Want to be one of them? This is as good as the version of the trailer. I might still put the trailer in. Uh, I'm an easy counting guy in person. Like nothing more than programming with the right woman. The first thing people really notice about me is my charming personality, followed closely by my old arms. I'm the man for you if you like great old arms and legs. I work as a retired, so I'm probably making the world a better place by not being in the workplace. My life goals include nothing. Ah. Hey, so what else is there here? Questions. How to program CPU AI, how the dialogue trees work, saving and loading game progress, all physics. Okay. Let's, let's put that up there. See what else is. Deeple tune. Oh, that's a separate one. Can you play both of them once? Oh, that's the main one. Okay. Cool, cool. Game ideas. Someone really needs to clean up their desktop, to be honest. Okay. Okay, it says the full Mario game with RPG elements. That sounds pretty cool. Um, is this, is there any, ooh, what, what? There's actual full emails here. Um, I, I can reply to them? <laughs> to May Rizzo, from Len Rizzo. So, to May Rizzo, might be related to Len. Residence number 3789A. Hey May, just one last thing. It's not too much to ask. Could you bring my computer <clears throat> if you would come visit? Love to see you soon, Grandpa Lynn. Um. <clears throat> there we go. Let's see. Let's see. What am I send this? That's just sent. Okay. <clears throat> okay, okay. There's ads there too. Can I click on the ads? No. How I'm doing? I was just. <sighs> okay, yeah, I know you're right. I hope it turns out the way I want. It's gotta read the first one first, I suppose. Um, she's waiting. Your match is just a click away. Okay, how I'm doing part three. Um, what else? Account overdraft. Huh.
Okay, yeah, right. I can answer the this. Count that. Wait. Oh god. Wait a second. There's a story here, isn't there? Account overdraft. Overdrawn by $2,476. But, first of all, let's respond to the bank. It's very important. There we go. But, besides that, like, I, I clearly had money and then I lost it all. Yeah, account goes below $25. What happened? Everything's fine. Don't worry about this old man. Your dad overreacts to everything and likes to catch me doing things he thinks is wrong. Yes, it's true. I've been setting up place recently. I pulled one or two all-nighters, I'll admit. But I'm having fun. The first time I can't even remember when. Your dad is this man. I'm happy. The front door thing won't even, isn't that big of a deal. I got up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night and got a little turned around the dark. Opened the wrong door. The door was open in the middle of the night. All night? Crack. It was open to just crack. Jules got angry as I've ever seen him. But for what? It's like anyone came in and robbed the place. We all make mistakes. He's never locked his keys in his car or left his window open all night. It's the same thing. I'm really close to finishing my project. My dad's just mad at the world. I've made not the best father, but it's not like I've neglected him as a child. Like my dad did with me. You should have seen my father. The world ever produced a more awkward, less loving man than Rizzo. Everyone called him Wiley as a joke. He would call Big Man Tiny because William is the most awkward, honest, naive person on the planet. So maybe I rebelled and became the opposite. A cunning trickster. Your father would certainly think so. But that doesn't mean that I don't make honest mistakes. Everything I do to your dad <laughs> thinks it's some sort of sly mind game. When I'm actually just a tired old man who loved nothing more than his son's old friend. But will you give me that satisfaction? Probably not. Anyway, I'm sorry to go off on such a rant. You don't deserve that. You just deserve to know that your grandpa loves you. Envy is 100% proud of the lives he lives or the lives he played out. Uh, I'm excited we've been able to email back and forth. I'm excited to see you whenever you find the time to come visit. Wait, what? He sent this to May Lizzo, but he forwarded this shipping confirmation of a computer, apparently. Or a TV? No, just a monitor by looks of it. That's odd, but not surprising. Alright, your matches are waiting. Your account's been closed. Your sexy silver singles account. We're sorry to see you go. We hope we found the one. Best of luck and love. She decided to rejoin. We'll keep your account file for six months so you can be back in no time. Ah. Did he lose all his money because he was doing this a dating website? Ooh, your sexy miniature teacup um, do dong poodle. Looks like you've got a new match. Click to view it. Okay. Is that just all he's got here? Vintage television on the loo. Okay, and what happened? Look like an old TV screen for nice things. What's the idea? Yeah, I'll do that, that, that. Okay, so he was clearly—is he the one who's meant to have made this game? I am unsure. Okay, what else is here? Is there any other interesting-looking messages? Ah, oh, there's a response to this. Ah, oh, thank you, Justin. We have quite a number of cool-looking styles and overlays to snap into any project. Just go to the look and feel project. Styles to drop down to fuzz, glitch, hyper real, etc. For a CIT, um, look, we just adding vintage with the following things. I mean, that just. okay. What about these don't have any. Steve, it's last time I tried to contact you. I'm hoping we can reconnect after all this year, but it's clear that you have no interest in that. Good luck with whatever you've been up to all this time. So he's been contacting Steve. This is the inbox I was in, but it sounds like I'm in a spam message. Uh, not spam, sent messages. So did he try and reach out to Steve? Did he try and reach out to all these people? Is that the idea? Oh. Okay. What else has he ordered? Um, a Type-C cable adapter. Another monitor. But that's probably the same email he, uh, he sent to the other person. Yeah, this new computer is freaking amazing. To Mark Randolph, so that's another person we played against. Mark. Okay. They responded. Uh, I'm sorry she dropped out in the economics and pro and computer games. This could be my chance, Mark. I'm a smart guy. What if I try to make a computer game as well to impress her? Has this literally been made by an old man? If so, I'm actually very impressed. Oh, here we go. 
It's a, it's a computer. So we've got an 8700K. Nice, nice. A little bit weaker than mine, but eh, not really. No, mine would be weaker, yes, because I'm a 9900. So yeah, it would be weaker. Still, 32 gigs of DDR4. That's a lot of RAM for, for that, but I think I had 32 gigs as well, so I can't really blame him for that. 240GB SSD, that's very small. 3TB. Uh, oh, damn, it didn't even tell us what the graphics card was. Oh, yes, it did down further. A 1080i. Okay, so when was this mental being bought? 2019. Wasn't? Yeah, the... In 2019, the... Uh... The more advanced stuff was out, so he must be buying a computer with, with old parts, or maybe this is when he first made it. I don't know. So we've seen his draft. His spam? No? Trash? Okay, so we can't go there, but that's odd. So what was that one? That was the email. What did what color did that look like? Because I feel like this might be more here as well. So email was down here, it was purple. So does that mean purple all applications? No, not all applications. It doesn't seem to be color coding here. After the test. Okay. I enjoy cooking, going on walks, some sports, used to play volleyball in college. Turkey rain. Oh. I'm really starting to think this might actually be made by an old man, and it's and that makes me it's kind of think it's adorable. I need to find out that's the trace. I need to find out who actually made this. Oh wait, what? Oh, I got back in the game. Oh no, I want to go back out of the game. I want to explore my desktop more. Oh god, no! It went back. Okay, don't remember which one I got. Me the memory exercise. Um, oh dear. Ball. That's probably the same one as before, so let's not press the same thing. Possible themes. It's a different thing. Okay. We're in profile 2. Memory activism. Retired. Is that what it does? Retired. Okay. Retired. Okay. This is very odd. Net. Oh, it's a net. Aww. Is this just 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 an old man's way of of like? <laughs> oh, I don't know anymore. Tile. Okay. Game tile, obviously. Sliding animation. Something's happened. So this place changed net. Omicron eighty five with the number. I wonder if that's a challenge, like an actual hint to something. Still to figure out. Hmm. Ichi. C numbers. Credit card number, gotcha. Yes, guy. Win icon, okay. Keyboard. I'm really starting to think that this might actually just be... Okay, here we go. It needs to go over these locations per player. Cutscenes, three matches, top down car thing. Mark Pittsfield, yep. Steve Worcester, Wiley Wellfleet. So I got through a couple of them. <clears throat> then Len plays himself. Checklist per level, ref language. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Oh, please don't have one of these be a penis picture. That would just make things be bad. Like, everything be bad. Excuse me. Let's stop. Oh, that was literally all. Okay. Um, I think that's all of them now. I think we've done most of them at this point. So it's got my clock down there. It's not actually my clock. Now, if I go menu, what happens? About. <sighs> Airdos operating system license red lane Lizzo. Okay, so. Okay, so this is just like a nice little like Easter egg at the end. How cute. What if anything changes here? I don't know, but I kind of like that. If I go exit, what happens there? Um, well that's ominous, isn't it? Okay, it did actually close the game, so I guess that's that, but seriously, that was not what I was expecting, so, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put these two videos together and who knows what happens. Um, very odd.
There might be more hidden to this game. There might be a reason to actually go through and pass it. I don't know. It's very unique. It's very weird. I don't know how I feel about it at the moment, but, um, yeah. It doesn't seem to be too... Yeah. Anyway. Um... Let's have a look at the, the uh, SnowRunner Games developer, first of all. They've made Soda Drinker Pro, which is the world's most advanced soda drinking simulator, which looks terrible. But one of my friends already owns it, and it can't be bought on Steam. How does that work? I'm going to have to ask them. Maybe this doesn't have a, a price in Australia. Okay, anyway, um, thank you all. And this time, I don't think unless when I... Close Steam, it pops up with another sub sub game. We're going to see anything different. So, thank you, and uh, I'm going to close this down. You gotta play with your heart. Give it all that you got. <laughs> Take a shot, serve it up on the ball with everything you got. Stand in the sand. Alrighty then, it's now the uh, next day, and I have uh, came back to retired men's nude beach volleyball league and decided to play for the rest of it because I was like, it's, there was something nagging at me that felt like there was something more to this game. Turns out there is. It's um, definitely got a nice little emotional roundup at the end. Um, in fact, it does. It does make. The rest of the game make a bit more sense, though. From a gameplay perspective, I, I wish it was anything but volleyball. Like, I think the fact I never had any real chance of winning was just frustrating. I know it's not about winning and losing, but, like, if the game loop that I was playing to get to the satisfying emotional outcome was better, then maybe I would have had a better time. Not to say anything quote-unquote wrong with this game. In fact, it does make you think. Um, and you probably, if, if you don't mind looking at the volleyball and think you do better, then yeah, you should probably try it out yourself. Um, the game itself definitely does have a, a core to it. Um, something emotional and something there. Um, we picked up a little bit of it when we did the quitting thing before and, and got to his desktop, which I might as well demonstrate again. Let me do it. Uh, this... it's, it really glitched out to near the end, though. Yeah, it's the same one as before. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, basically... Basically, the game does have some form of, of um, emotional payoff. But you've got to understand that getting there is a definitely a, um, a long trip. In the end, I got to the point where instead of actually playing the volleyball game, I was looking down at my phone while I consistently lost 25 points. Um, because that was... So yeah. So yeah, if you like the look at this, definitely go play it. But just know what you're getting is something that... Um, what you're getting is something that is uh, very much, yeah. It's very much its own thing. It's 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 very much something that's uh it takes a bit of time to get through.
basically this is this email here the final email gives you a hint as to what's happening for real um, but it, it's really yeah it's interesting so anyway now that's a retired nude men's beach volleyball league um, sorry for a weird option where I've ended the video like three times now um, I thought I should at least come back before I post this and sort of make a review it's good but I do wish they would have chosen any other sport. Any other sport. Like, why not retired nude swimming? Or re retired nude competitive sandcastle building? I don't know. Anything that allows you to have a little bit of talking back and forth would have worked. But volleyball just has way too many uh, memories of things like uh, Minzinki's beaches. And volleyball. There's a few interesting parts in it, even throughout the um, <clears throat> gameplay elements. But and you are able to pick it up. In fact, when you when you finish the game, a lot of what um, the conversations were make a lot more sense. Um, but yeah. Oh well. Thank you for joining me on this uh, quite a crazy, weird thing. Um, I hope no one minds. I didn't record the end. It wouldn't. Uh, it wouldn't have been a fun recording. And if you want to go see it, you should probably go see it yourself. But it wouldn't have made a good stream game. I don't think playing for the entire game would have actually been beneficial for anyone. Uh, but anyway, thank you for joining me today. Um, this has been retired New Beach volleyball game, and this is actually the end, unless there's something crazy when I press the exit button this time. I doubt it though. So goodbye.